Hey golf people, on today's episode, I've got a real contender for you. We've got a package set of golf clubs in the Fly XL. Now this set is driver, three wood, four and five hybrid, six through pitching wedge, and a milled face putter. Now these can be had on places like Amazon at our sponsor playbetter.com. And today I'm gonna to find out, can these things perform? Are they a good value? And can you play golf with a package set and play golf well? Our over under today on this very difficult course, the hardest one here at Carrollwood, Cyprus is going to be plus three. And it's going to be difficult because there's something lacking in this set already that I can see and that's a sandwich. The lowest club I've got right now is a pitching wedge and uh, that could prove to be very difficult if we find the sand or if we need these short little pitch shots. So we've got to be accurate. It's going to be a tough day out here, but we'll see if the Cobra makes it a little bit easier. Let's do it. First hole here on Cyprus, we've got water running down the left side. So I've got to keep this ball right. If I do, I should have a short iron approach into a sloping green that slopes from really one side to the other down to some other water. So uh, one way or the other, let's try to stay dry. Let's do it. Now the driver that comes with the Fly XL set is 10.5 degrees. There's no other adjustments, so that's what we're working with. I've got a little bit of a headwind here, so we'll see how far around it goes. All right, we are off and running. Now this driver does have a little bit of a draw bias to it. You saw my ball had a draw, but uh, that's my normal shot. But having that draw bias should help some of you that fight the slice. 142 to the pin. Now the lofts on these are more traditional on these irons. And one thing else I wanna show you about these irons, you can see that they've moved the weight down there in the club face. All right, you've got a nice generous cavity back there. So they get up in the air really quickly. That's what I've been able to see out on the range with these. In terms of lofts, these are more traditional lofts. They're definitely not the jack lofts that you see on some of these game improvement irons. They're more traditional. The sound of these irons sounds really nice. I'm gonna hit an eight iron here, which is about a 145 club for me. Real nice and high in the air. And we got about 15, 20 feet here for birdie. It's a good start. We're gonna give this putter a test now. There you can see some of the milling. Kind of reminds me of like the old Scotty Cameron looking putter. Really no frills. This is the type of putter that's going to make you a better putter because there's no extra added technology. What you see is what you get. A nice answer style putter. Looks like it's toe balanced. And uh, one thing I'd change is this grip. I'd like to see a little thicker grip on it. But of course that's always something you can swap out for $20. Did I hit it? Did I hit it? Oh, I didn't hit it! Did I hit it? Ow! Oh no! Can someone come over here and blow that in for me? Unbelievable. It's not a fair game, guys, because this stroke counts as much as my 235 yard drive. All right, that's a par, we're heading to two. One thing I do like about this putter is I've been very consistent in terms of distances. And uh, as you can see, I just came up ever so short there but pretty good putt to start all right we're just crossing under the tunnel here at cyprus heading to the par five second now this is a long pretty straight away par five it's really hard to get there in two we're going to probably test out one of these hybrids here on this hole if i can hit a good drive which i plan to uh we'll test out probably the four hybrid and see if we can get it out there into some nice low iron range a lot of bunkers to contend with here off the tee i've got one on the right and left i've got to navigate and uh, a lot of trouble along the way, so it's a tough hole. Ooh, it's drawing a lot. Now I find this little G80 to be pretty spot on most of the time. Estimated carry of 220 with roll 238. Club head speed 95, smash factor 1.48, ball speed leaving the club at 141. Let's go see where we ended up. That had a big high draw to it. And again, that's the 10 and a half degrees here. This driver, looking down at it, is really nice. It doesn't look like a cheap driver. It's got that nice high gloss finish that you're come to expect with Cobra clubs. The only gripe I think I would have with it is, well, I'd love to see it adjustable, but at this price point, you can't expect that much. But one gripe I would have with it is probably sound. All of the woods in this set, the driver, the three wood, the hybrids, they all have a little bit of a tinny sound to it, but they seem to perform pretty well. All right, well, we are 0 for 2 in fairways hit, but not by much. Again, pretty good result on this driver. It might be five to 10 yards less than its big brother, the Rad Speed, but performing pretty solidly so far. Again, it's set at 10 and a half, so still a little high for me. 
but it's working. One little gripe I have about this set is the fact that it does not come with a five iron, which is probably what I'd like to hit right here out of the rough. What we've got is a five hybrid and a four hybrid. I'm gonna go four hybrid, the four hybrids at 20 degrees. Tell you what, it came out of there pretty good. It's bounding down the fairway there. It's not crazy long, but we're in really good position. And you will appreciate hybrids if you're a person that just doesn't hit your high irons long enough. So they've really thought about the higher to mid handicap player here with this set. All right, again, we've got a great angle. We're in the fairway, nice, perfect lie. We've got 114 to a front pin here. I really can't miss right or left though because I've got water on the right, bunker on the left. We're gonna make sure that this goes straight, guys. Oh yeah. Okay, just on the front of the green. Package sets have come a long way in golf. It used to be that you were really scraping the bottom of the barrel, but they are so much better these days. You're actually getting a really nice set of clubs when you go for a package set. And that bag, that bag alone is probably worth $125 to $150. Really nice cart bag there. I've got an uphill putt. Looks like I just missed the green, so we can't give ourselves a GIR, but we've got a nice uphill birdie putt. And we'll see if we can put this one away. Oh, oh man, that could be two right there. That just went right over the edge. That could easily be two birdies, but two pars, tap in pars, we will take. On to number three, we've got the par three right across the water here. Hey, let's see if we can knock in an ace. All right, well, we've got 145. We've got the wind with us here again, so I'm gonna go eight iron. Pins right in the middle of the green, so if we're ever gonna have an ace, this could be the chance. I actually saw an ace just a couple of days ago. The guy I was playing with in my group had an ace, so maybe his luck will transfer to us here. Let's see if we can do it with an eight iron. Oh, it's not an ace, but it's a good shot. It should be on the green. Yep. Okay, guys, listen. So far, I'm pretty impressed with these irons. Uh, I haven't found the sand or any trouble just yet. I am swinging pretty good, there's no doubt about that. I've been playing well lately. But we're hitting greens regulation and uh, that's always the sign of a solid iron for me. With this sort of set, we just don't want anything to hold us back from improving. And I don't see anything with this set that would hold you back from improving. They get up in the air really nice. They've got forgiveness. They are able to be worked a little bit left and right, I can see. And uh, so far, so good. One little gripe I would have is with these head covers. The head cover is just a little on the cheap side and they're very hard coming on and off of these clubs. All right, they get a little stuck on there, but that's a little bit of a minor gripe there. You can always change head covers as well as grips. So, uh, so far, I mean, at $900, I think the value's there. Hey, we're due to knock one in here, guys. Is that it? Oh! I will never complain about easy pars like that. Let's go to four now. Four is the hardest hole on this course and I'll show you why. All right, so probably the hardest hole of all 27 holes out here on Carrollwood is the fourth hole. It's gonna take two really long, really straight shots to get home. On the left, we've got some water to contend with and a big row of trees on the right. So we've got to place it on a pretty narrow area of fairway, probably about 20 yards wide. And that second shot, this green is huge. Wish me luck, a par here is always a good score. That's what we're gonna try to do. Okay. Should be okay. Went a little left there, but I think it's short of the water. All right, not a monstrous drive, but a solid 230. We'll take that with this club. And I'm left with 192 to the pin. We're gonna see if we can get there with the five hybrid, give that club a shot. I do have kind of a tough uh, slope here. I'm gonna have to play this ball. Probably gonna try to scoot out towards the right. So this one's probably gonna be like a fade shot. Uh-oh. Well guys, the course just bit back. I leaped up on the ball and uh, I'm in the hazard. So we're gonna try this again. I'm gonna keep this five hybrid in my hand. We're gonna drop here, we're hitting four. There it is. Hey, that one worked out really good. We're pin high once again. And uh, we got a chance at a five, a miracle five. Oh. 
tell you what though, that second guy in golf, he's always pretty good, isn't he? Every time I hit a second shot, it's usually really good. Oh well, we're down two now. We're two over and uh, we got to get it back. But luckily we're going to a pretty, I think probably the easiest hole on this course. Well guys, I got to say, I'm just really enjoying being out here and I hope you're happy to see me out here as well because it's been a while. It's been so wet here this summer and uh, due to some health issues, this is unfortunately to be one of the last rounds that I can be on course with you for a little while. Might have a couple more here before uh, we shut it down for a little bit and I'll tell you that in a, in a video coming soon. But uh, I appreciate every moment I get to spend out here with you and it's just a pleasure playing golf, testing these clubs, showing you what I like and dislike about it. Now let's get a birdie. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> this driver has been really solid for me. I haven't hit anything bad with it. All right, well, we got 107 wind behind us. This is where I'd probably hit a gap wedge, but this set doesn't have anything less than a pitching wedge. I'm really, really surprised it doesn't come with a sand wedge. That's one thing this set is absolutely missing. But here, I don't mind being a little long because I've got bunkers left and right. And that pin being in the front, I'd rather be long, okay? Right at it. Yeah, that's a good shot. Actually, it, it spun a little bit too, so we've got a good chance at birdie. Similar distance that we've had all day. This is 12 feet coming downhill. Should be a little bit right to left. Oh, just tentative. Not a great putt there. Not a good effort there. They say you should always aim for about 18 inches past the cup. Coming downhill, I just wasn't so sure and uh, left it short. That was a mental error right there. So far, this putter has been really good. Like I said, this putter is going to make you a better putter because it's not going to give you anything other than a nice consistent roll. But again, so far, very few things to complain about. And we've done really well in hitting greens in regulation, which has prevented us from having to chip with no sand wedge to chip with. That is definitely a handicap but we've been able to avoid that so far let's keep that going and uh we're heading to another par three last chance of the day for that ace should be about a six iron shot let's get it tight 165 and i'm hitting the six iron which is the lowest iron in the bag here or highest iron depending on how you look at things it's the iron that goes the furthest in this bag before you get into the hybrids 165 should be the perfect club let's do it Hi. Okay, I think we found green. I'll tell you what, just solid, solid, solid with these clubs. Very consistent. This one's about 18 feet coming uphill. Should be a right to left putt. We gotta put one of these in, come on. Get there. Ah. All aboard the par train. We're basically on the par train today. Other than that one bad shot with the five hybrid on four, we've just kept it very nice and solid and consistent. And in golf, consistency is not a bad thing. <laughs> we're still two over, so we're still doing pretty good in terms of our over under. We've got one shot really of cushion. Head into a par five, long par five, dog leg right. It's gonna take three really good shots to get there, guys. Again, if I can just stay where I don't have to chip right now, I'm really happy about that because I don't really want to have to take this pitching wedge out and chip with it, especially if I'm in a bunker. So wish me luck. Burn. With this draw face, I get some late drawing balls there. I gotta say, they get up in the air and then they have a late turn to them. It scares me, but. I think we're uh, either on the right side of the fairway or maybe just off. All right, we're just off the fairway here and I have kind of a crummy lie. This is where I'd love to have an iron in my hand, but I have a hybrid. I'm gonna go five hybrid and I've got to fade one here around these palm trees because I'm on a downslope and it would be hard for me to get the ball up in the air over the palm trees. Just not, 
not enough space to do so. So I'm gonna play this ball up in the front of my stance. I'm gonna weaken my grip a little bit and try to promote that club face opening up just a little bit more of an outside to in swing. That's an exaggeration of what I'm gonna do, but I'm gonna try to sweep it around here, get us into position, put an iron in our hand. Yeah, I like that I was able to work it. So that's one good thing again about these clubs is They've got a little workability to them. Now, one thing I did not get to show you was the three wood today. I was hoping to do that, but I was blocked out. So I will say this, I've used it out on the range and it does the job. Not as far as my Ping G425. This three wood goes about 215 to 225 max. But again, gets up in the air really nice and easy. It's a solid club. All of these are very solid clubs. All right, 184, we're going back to the well with the five hybrid. All right, we're gonna have the first test of that pitching wedge now. Bad news is we've got a crummy lie here <laughs> and we've got to go right over the bunker. I've got to hit kind of a, what I would hit like a flop shot here normally. Not a lot of green to work with. We're gonna do our best though and uh, see if we can land it right here on the fringe. If I could land it on the fringe, maybe it kind of checks up and hopefully it doesn't roll over. I'd love to have a sandwich right now, but we work with what we've got. That's what I was worried about. All right, we can't do any worse than bogey now. Got to get up and down here. That was a pretty good shot. Oh, get in. Oh, that's a bogey. Lucky more than anything, to be honest with you. All right, well, we're on the bubble now. We're at plus three. We've got two tough holes to play. Let's see if the Cobra set can come through. So friends, highly recommend you go out and buy a sand wedge if you're going to pick up this set. You've got room in the bag for it. In fact, I think you can get a couple of wedges. I'd go ahead and get a 54 and a 58 personally, but uh, you do you. Should be able to keep it under a thousand bucks. Out the door, under a thousand in golf. It's a good place to be. Here, I just want to get it out in the fairway. We do have a fairway bunker to contend with. And then on our second shot, we're going to have water on the left, bunker on the right. All in all, not a crazy hard hole here. Let's just go par par and win this thing. Hey. All right, we just missed the fairway again, but all in all, really happy with this driver, I gotta say. Nothing too bad out of it. We got 145, we're back into the wind now, so I'm actually gonna go seven iron, a club we haven't hit today. Only thing I can't do here is really go right into that bunker. If I can keep it away from that bunker, we should be fine. We'll get a par, we'll get on to nine. Here. Turn, turn, turn. Oh no. What did I say about the bunker? Huge mental error right there, guys. Ah, I was aiming right at the bunker, assuming it was gonna draw off that stance and it just didn't draw like I thought. Now we're in trouble because I don't have a sand wedge and we've got a bunker shot coming. Oh boy, I think we know what this set's missing, right? Ah. A couple of Aaron shots here have cost us a good score today. And that is just golf. You've got to concentrate for every single shot. I'm not doing that today and I'm paying the price. For the first time in a while, we're gonna have a failed test, but I really don't think it's the club that's failed us today. I really think the clubs have been really good. Minus not having a sandwich just cost us three shots here today at least. Tough finishing hole here, long par four. We've actually got the range on the left hand side. So if we really snap one, you're in big trouble trying to even find the ball. Sometimes we'll play yellow balls here. That's actually a smart move, but I'm gonna think positively. We've been hitting this driver good all day. It's been really solid. Let's see if we do one more, just one more here to end it. Yep, all day this thing's been solid. That's right down the middle and running. Just short of the bunker. 
this has been the problem club. It's probably responsible for all of our bogeys here today. On number four, we hit a bad shot. It cost us two strokes. On number seven, we hit a bad shot and it cost us a stroke. Between that and the sand wedge, that's the only place this set is lacking. If I could have a five iron and a sand wedge, I think this could almost be the perfect set. As it stands, we're in big trouble. All right, I got a lot of green to work with, so it should be no problem with the pitching wedge here. Hey, we finally made a putt. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this one as much as I did. Two clubs held us back today. It was the five hybrid, just I didn't hit it well. You might. And not having a sand wedge. That hurt. But all in all, super solid set. I give it a four and a half out of five. In terms of box sets, it's just about as good as it gets. The only thing that might be better is the Costco edge set. I've got a video about that right here. And we're gonna be putting those up head to head very, very soon on the channel. If you wanna check out the Cobra Fly XL set, go to playbetter.com and I'll catch you back here very soon on another edition of Let's Play Through. <laughs>